So how does a virus move from country to country? And also from person to person, even if those people haven't been to an affected country or know someone who's been infected. Team 12's William Pitts joins us now to show us how a virus can move around a house or an office place. Will? You've heard of community spread. Well, what does that actually mean? We found a product that mimics what germs could look like if they're on your body. Community spread basically means a disease is spreading from person to person in a new area. And here's how easy it is. This powder simulates germs, like from a cough or a sneeze, and it glows under UV light. It's meant to simulate how germs can pass from person to person and still make you sick. The powder is basically just glowing baby powder. It's not real, it can't hurt anyone, but it's just like sneezing and forgetting to wash your hands after, which Dr. Andrew Carroll says you should never do. You should really be sneezing into the crook of your elbow, which is still not perfect because you're still spreading germs kind of all over, but at least you're not sneezing into your hands. First test, we put some in our office, like if someone had sneezed or coughed on a desk and got our first victim. Yeah, you got some glow going on there. Then I put some powder on my hands like I had sneezed and went back to work. Printing an email. Check out the paper for the day. High five to the assignment desk. And we'll go down. There they are. Look, that's a busy crew. Now, remember everything I just touched? We're going to hit it all with a black light. My mouse and keyboard glowing bright green. The printer, touchscreen, contaminated. I grabbed a newspaper, high-fived Seth behind there. Let's take a look at the newspaper. There's my handprints all over it. And let's take a look at Seth. The elevator buttons, the elevator door, even a regular door, all still glowing long after I put the powder on. And Dr. Carroll says that's how community spread works. It starts with one person and explodes from there. You go back to your desk, you touch the keys on your keyboard and then you touch your mouse, and then from there you touch your phone. And then some guy comes around and uses your phone and now they've touched it. About 20 seconds of hand washing will take off pretty much any germs. The trick though is not touching your face, which if you're wondering, I did not succeed in doing. William Pitts, 12 News.